Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So, we've got one system from the user S Neriad today, so I must say thank you to them for sending this system in. And their system is called Taurus A and B. So without further ado, let's hop straight into this. So it should already be on the subscribe list here, let's have a look. Where are we? Taurus, there it is, right at the top, I missed that. Alright, there we go. Hey, <laughs> Right, here we are. Taurus A and B are located 6,895 light years away from the solar system. It has 11 confirmed planets, including the ones around Taurus B. The system is stable. Also, there are some secrets. Okay, so we've got multiple pages of things to read here. So let's get an overview look of everything. Okay, oh, alrighty. Cool. There's the second star over there. Alright. Cool. Alright, so first up, Taurus A. So, where are we heading here? So it's name as well. Got a pretty cool custom name there. Let's go to realistic lighting. There you are. Cool. Right, the first planet from Taurus A, and the only one without a moon. It is a grey because it's mostly made out of generic rock. So there's your Mercury kind of like planet for the system there. Next up we got uh, Sigrun. The second planet and has a double ring system and captured asteroid moon called uh, Sigrun B. It's made out of an element only found on the moon called Tars Nalium, which is there. Or is it? No, never mind. Cool. So it has its own element. That's pretty cool. It's got a little uh, little probe thing around it as well. Check that out. Okay. Very nice. Cool view as well of the parent planet from here. Very nice. Decently large asteroid moon in orbit as well. Cool. Okay, who have we got next? Vanadis. Some of these have accents on them, so I do apologise. I, I don't know how to... Sp <laughs> I cannot speak this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Vanadis is how I'd say that, but I can see there's an accent above the uh, I there, so I do apologise. Um, so what have we got here? Oh, okay. The third planet has three moons, one of them means spherical. Okay, nice, nice pinky purple colour there. First of the planets, or moons I should say. Cool. So the largest moon is called Yoga Manganda? Or Jaw Manga, I'm not sure how you want to say it, but there it is. Largest moon, mostly made out of rock. So there you go. Cool. And there's one more moon over here as well. Little probe. Hey, a rocket, I should say. <laughs> nice. Okay, what do we got down here? Svan Hiller. Looks very similar, but this is a gas giant this time. Fourth planet and first gas giant of the system. It has five moons, two of which being spherical. Cool. It's got a, little, a few little objects in here as well. Almost like little shepherd moons in a way. So we've got late over here. The first moon and the late latins live on it. Cool. Little patches of water on it. That's interesting. There you go. Nice looking world there, actually, the little uh, spots of water there. Cool. Got a satellite there. And then Svan Svanheld is named after its parent planet and it's got blue rocks that spread over the surface. There it is. Okay. Cool. Alright, next up we have got Gandalf. Gandalf? Uh, it's the first ice giant in the system and only has three moons. Cool. So I've got a few more asteroid ones there, as you can see. Then we got this one here. Sigmund, a grey rock. Cool. Well, that's all of those guys. Very nice. Making good progress. 
Um, so next up, we're heading to no this one here, I'm guessing. Uh, no, we're heading to one called Erno. Where's that? Aha, here we go. The yellow one. Oh, this is the one in the little thumbnail picture of this system. Okay, here it is. Looking good. Quite dark out here. A dwarf planet ordered in Taurus A, and it has one moon. No one knows what this moon's made out of, but there it is. Cool, very nice. Oh, excuse me. Right, where were we? It's a casually yawn in the middle of saying that almost. <laughs> right, um. Hoda. Oh Taurus B. What's this one called? Hoda. The reddest surface in the system, and it has two moons. I'm guessing we're going around the next star now? Let's have a look. Taurus B. So this is a brown dwarf. Sandora. No idea where this Hoda is. Unless it's one of these further out ones, maybe? Oh, wow. Unknown, unknown. Let's search. Where is this Hoda located? I can't find it. Let's see. Oh, it's this red one. Okay, gotcha. Okay, there you go. Cool. The reddest surface in the system has two moons. Oh, you can see them there. Very nice. One and two. Cool. Okay, next up we have got Europe. I'll just search these guys as well. Are you... This one located. Okay, so, all right. Okay, it's further out here. Has got a giant ring system compared to its size, and nobody knows how it formed. I don't actually see any rings there. They must not be spawned in. Next up, we've got the most boring object in the system. Enjoyed. There it is. Then we have Civ. So where's this located? So this is in the pitch darkness now. Okay, so pretty, so we've skipped the second star for now. Okay. What we'll do is we'll go to uh, Studio Correctional. There you are. Cool. Purple atmosphere and two moons. Oh, that's weird how that does that. I'm still not used to the game doing this where you... It's these buttons here. It's so strange. I'm really not used to... Uh, how when you zoom in and out, it does that. That's really annoying. Go back to directional, please. Thank you. See, look at that. Why does it do that? <laughs> oh, don't do that. Auto. Oh, that makes no sense. Studio, flashlight, directional. You have to do it while you're zoomed out. If you do it when it's zoomed in, it seems to do that. That's really annoying. Okay. There's moons. And the second one. Oh man. Right. There you are. Cool. Civ. Right. Next up, we've got four. I think I saw that one earlier. There it is. Yeah. Cool. The second eye shark has five moons. Cool. So we've got A, B. Okay, if we jump to D. And E. Where is C? Oh, there's C as well. C and then D. 4D is an icy moon and the only one with a subsurface ocean. And then we have 4E, a rocky moon with an atmosphere thicker than Mars. There it is there, looking good. Cool. Then we got Perpina. Not much known about the planet other than it's purple and black. I see it's that over here, isn't it? Yep. Oh, it's got a lot of gas giant bands. Check that out. Loads and loads of bands on there. Okay. It has a moon as well. The first and only moon. And there you go. Looking good. And then we have Planet 11. Unlike Planet 9 of our own solar system, this planet is confirmed. And this model is based off the only picture they have of it. Which is... Where is it? Planet 11. 
This is the last known planet in this system. There you go. Very nice. Okay, so next, what have we got now? Okay, so Taurus B. So the second star. So we've still got a little more objects to check out further out, but we're heading down here now, around the brown dwarf. Okay, so first up we're heading to Sandora. A rocky planet mostly covered in sand with two moons. Cool. Still a shame that you can't really get proper light emitted off brown dwarfs. That's something I've wanted to see in the game for years now, is brown dwarfs actually emitting just a tiny, tiny bit of light. And I mean tiny, just hardly anything like they should do. Because it would be cool. Get a little bit of warmth from them. Let's see. Okay. Next up we've got Goliath. We're skipping out all of these. Are these all just asteroids and stuff, these guys? I think they are. Yeah, okay. Um, Goliath here. Cool. Green gas chunk with only one spherical moon. There's a lot of them. Which one is the spherical moon, though? Oh, Goliath B. Where is it? Oh, where we go? Come on. Uh, Goliath B. There it is. Found it. Has a satellite orbs in it. Okay. You can see the little probe. Can't actually locate where the probe is, but obviously there is an orbit there. Let's put the label on. There it is. Oh, it is there. Okay. Very, very close to the uh, in orbit, as you can see. Looking good. Cool. Mission from the Latians. So there, that civilization we saw earlier. SBO mission sent to Sigran B. Vanadis explorer was sent to the study the surface of Vanadis. Parents survey sent a man Svan Hilda to study its composition. Erna Orbs. This mission failed as they made the wrong calculation and crashed into Gandala. G Ganda. Well, tried to do a gravity assist. Goliath B. Sent a Goliath B to study Taurus B and its moons and planets, which is kind of what we got going on here. Taurus B. Cool. All right. Close. But the description did say there was a few unknown worlds. There's a few things further out than that planet 11 that haven't been discovered by the civilization, which are these guys. So this red one. A very, very complex looking gas giant. That's a very cool looking gas giant. I really like that. That looks really good. It's a random green band there, but that yeah, looks good. I like that. It's a very, very nice looking red giant. We've got unknown over here. Nice blue one. Looking good. Very nice as well. Good. Very, very nicely done. Do you like the way he looks? That's good stuff. Cool. And then another unknown over here. Another more paler shade gas giant. And then there's one thing at the very far back. I don't know if you've seen already, but you got this guy over here I spotted. Cotton candy. So what is that all about? Over here. Oh, can I select it? Massive distance towards it. Here it is in the very edges of the system. The camera's all shaking because we're so far away by the looks of it. Nice looking gas giant. Very nice and exotic looking. And that is very far away from anything, as we can see. Oh my god, <laughs> that's a very long distance, isn't it? Oh wow. It's over a galaxy away. Look at that, hang on. Hang on a minute. No way. Oh my god, you can almost feel IC101 in between. <laughs> Milky Way, look. That's the Milky Way there. So put IC101, the largest galaxy. So it's pretty much one end of the galaxy to the other. Quite literally. Oh my god. Yeah. One side of the galaxy to the other. Where this cotton candy object lies. <laughs> In the, the main star system all the way on the other side of this massive galaxy. So that is yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so going all the way over here. And there's our system. And I'll have cotton candies all the way over there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Very nice. 
cool. Could Charles Edward undo that? Oh, I just deleted the galaxy. Well, I tried to. Delete galaxy, there you go. So, there's our lineup. I've got to say, I really like the gas giants in this system. There's some very nicely designed ones. Really like these hidden ones, though. They were pretty cool. All pretty uh, exotic in colour and appearance as well. Very nicely done. Good stuff there. But yeah, guys, with that all said and done, again, a massive thank you to the creator of this system, S. Neriad, for sending this system in. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. And with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day. Leave a like on this video as well, guys. Subscribe for more Health on the Journey to 40,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can go for 150 likes as well. And yeah, like I said, have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.